again, Outside the Box Reviews, we are doing another Loot Crate unboxing. So if you didn't catch the last review, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box that is basically random nerdy stuff. I think there's always a t-shirt in it, and then there's other things, and each month has a theme. Now, last month was the first one I got. My girlfriend actually got it for me for Valentine's Day, and I didn't want to know anything. I didn't want to know what the theme was ahead of time, any of that. Now I realize that the theme they tell you is just really vague. So I know before opening this box that this month's theme is Titan. And judging by some of the pictures they've revealed, it's going to probably have something to do with Titanfall that just came out and Attack on Titan, the anime, which I've actually been getting really into lately. So I'm curious to see what's inside this. And speaking of Titan, I don't remember how heavy the box was last time, but this one is significantly weighty. It, it's very heavy feeling. So I'm very curious to get this thing opened up and see what's inside. Come around to the bottom. Slid it open, and we get their bright orange interior. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm opening the suitcase from Pulp Fiction with the bright glowing interior of this dark box. But let's see what's in here. First up, we have the magazine for this month. The little booklet that tells you everything. So as I already said, we got the Titanfall robots, and then we have... Well, it looks like a lot of characters from Attack on Titan, but definitely all the Titan slaying gear, the swords, and the whole omnidirectional movement stuff. And I know that this usually has a list of everything in it, so I really don't want to go through too much of this booklet. So, yeah, Titan is definitely the theme, just black on the backside there. Let's keep digging! Next up is our requisite t-shirt, and it is a Titanfall shirt. Pretty cool looking. I like the style of it. You get the pilot there and just a silhouette of the robot. Unfortunately, unless I download this game for my computer, I'm probably never going to play it because I'm not going to get an Xbox One. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I've heard some people say this is a really cool game, and some people say it was overhyped. I don't know. But still, a very cool shirt design. I really like it. Next up, we have a button, a Loot Crate button, March 2014. Titan has the artwork from the front of that book. A Apparently this comes, or a button comes, in every one of these loot crates. I did not get one last month, so that's kind of a bummer. I guess the thing is you're supposed to be able to get them, and you could have them all together and be like, look, these are all the months I subscribed and all that stuff, but I didn't get one last time. This one's much cooler looking than I think the other one would have been anyway, but cool. Next up we have what looks to be a wrist cuff. It's the the wings from the back of the uh, jackets in Attack on Titan. So there's our Attack on Titan tie there. Let's open this up. Yep, definitely just a wrist cuff. Eh, it is what it is. It's kind of an ugly brown, but on the same thing, it's kind of the same color of their jackets, so it makes a little more sense, I guess. I like it better than I liked the bow tie last month. And then we have a lanyard, and this is a C01. I wonder if this is Titanfall themed. I don't know, but it's a nice looking little lanyard. Well, that's kind of cool. The Titanfall Premium E-Guide, a $9.99 value. So I guess this is the digital copy of the game guide. That's pretty cool. Next up is a little Attack on Titanfall. Oh, it's a magnet. Attack on Titanfall magnet. Same art that was on the little magazine and the button, but cool. Stick that on the fridge. Ooh. Nice. Nice. It has the Attack on Titan manga, the comic book. That's really cool. That's probably why this box was so heavy, because this is definitely the heaviest thing in there. But, I mean, I'm not someone who's super into a lot of anime. I watched a lot in middle school and little in high school, but I saw a lot of people talking about Attack on Titan online, and it's been a series I've really enjoyed watching so far, so I'll definitely give it a shot reading it instead. And then we have Random Candy. It's green, white, 
swirly, random. Hey, ironically, I talked about not getting the other button last month. I don't know if they forgot it for everybody or if it was just noted that I didn't get one somehow, but I got it, so I got my button for last month too. There you go. And that art is actually pretty cute. It's the little, I guess, cat bug inside of a loot crate looking like Bemo. And then next up, we get some coupon codes or promises of coupon codes. It says they'll be distributed by email, but there's one for games, Vanguard cases to, I guess, hold your systems in. It's interesting. It actually looks like it has a screen built in so you can play on the go. That's unique. Coupon for Astro headsets, wireless headsets and gunner computer eyewear i guess it's supposed to make less strain on your eyes or something while you're playing that's actually intriguing 25 percent off styles 99 or 79 dollars so you're still gonna spend a little bit of money to get them but it's an interesting concept okay. That's it. So that is the Loot Crate for March of 2014. And I am significantly more impressed with it this time than I was last time. Last time, I kind of wasn't feeling the theme of it. And I think I said in that video that I think a lot of it came down to that fact that it was very much all themed on something that I didn't know about. And even this time, even though Titanfall is a game that I probably won't be playing because I'm not much of a PC game, Gamer and I'm not gonna get an Xbox for it. You never know, I might get it on the PC. But I like the aesthetic of it, I love giant robots. I think you guys probably are well aware of that by now, looking at my channel. And the Attack on Titan stuff is pretty cool. And I think in general, it's a really strong box and it has some really cool nerdy things in it. So I'm definitely gonna give this box a recommend. I guess the recommend is useless because I have it and that means you can't order this box, but it means you can order next month's Loot Crate. I'll put their link below so you can go to their website and I'm not getting my hopes up too much, but they did post a lot of pictures lately because apparently they went to the Funko headquarters. So fingers crossed, maybe the April box might be a Funko box and that might be unlikely, but if it was, that would be so cool. I would be totally down for a pop vinyl mystery mini hodgepodge of whatever Funko in there. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know if you think this is a good box. Do you like it better than last month's or do you think they're about even? I think it's a much stronger one, not just in theme, but in the amount of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, username Outside the Box Reviews. Also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, this is with our Outside the Box Reviews. Stay tuned for more to come. We are doing another Loot Crate unboxing. And I already don't know what I wanted to say. Come here.